bravo the song is kelele zao shindi and that is exactly what will be sung in our homes because god is going to make us victorious bring us to exactly 26 minutes to the top of the hour Sante sana for staying tuned to the station that you love and of course this is hope fm where you listen and leave this is praise junction my name is shikombogo I'm your guy in the building this amazing Tuesday, David King. Mm -hmm. And like we mentioned, we are starting off on a very, very serious series. Yes. A mental health series on Praise Junction, mm -hmm. which will run for a couple of weeks. And yes. we believe by the time we are getting to the end of it, you shall be blessed. You shall be delivered. Amen. You shall have peace in your family, in your yes. workplace, in mm -hmm. your business. We are live on Facebook. We are live on Twitter. We are live on YouTube at Hope FM Live. Amen and amen. Of course, to start us off, in just a short while, we've been telling you about Dr. Elizabeth Kamau. I'm going to give her an opportunity to just uh, say hello. Uh, how are you? I'm well, thanks, Shiko. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad to be here. Yes. Oh, thank you for <laughs> making time to be here, Dr. <laughs> thank you. Most people, when they hear of the term mental health, mm -hmm. they, they think... Okay, not most people. Some people yes. think of only running mad or losing your mind. Mm -hmm. Kindly, we, we, could you begin by explaining to us what mental health issues is all about? Yeah. Thank you for asking that question. Mm -hmm. Actually, mental health is a continuum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the extreme is mm -hmm. the running mad you're talking about. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where mm -hmm. you find that people cannot be contained. They have to be managed forcefully or other other means yes but uh, along the continuum mm -hmm. are all shades mm -hmm. of 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 it yes mm -hmm. uh in in particular mm -hmm. mental health has to do with your uh, your wellness mm -hmm. in the way you think yes the way you feel Mm -hmm. And the way you behave. Okay. <laughs> That's the way you think, the, the way, way you feel, feel and, and the way you so, behave. Yeah. So that encompasses your functioning, really. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Your way of functioning in life. Mm -hmm. Because your functioning is controlled by those three. Okay. Your thinking, mm -hmm. your feeling. Yes. And your behavior. And, and your, your behavior. behavior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that's a very good way to put it. Yes. <laughs> and possibly yeah. somebody could be wondering who is Dr. Elizabeth. She is, and uh, it's, it's important for us to say, so yes. she's the HOD Psychology Park University. That's right. And of course, she's also... Um, a lecturer there. So she, when it comes to matters mental health, she's very passionate about it. Possibly even before we get to the questions, you can tell us why are you passionate about mental health? It's a long history, Shiko. Mm -hmm. uh, earlier in our lives, as yes, a couple, my husband and I served with Kenya Christian mm -hmm. Student mm -hmm. Fellowship. Yes. And it happened that every time we had those camps, the national convention mm -hmm. or the regional convention, somehow the team would put me in charge of counseling. Oh. And I encountered a lot of broken mm -hmm. young people oh. who are seeking help. Mm -hmm. um, one time, actually, I was confronted with a young man mm -hmm. who wanted to, who was suicidal. Okay. He wanted to commit suicide mm -hmm. because he was feeling very ashamed of his life and feeling very valueless oh. because mm -hmm. his mother mm -hmm. had left home, mm -hmm. had left the father, Yes, got married to another man. Mm -hmm. After some time, the woman left that man and married a, th a, second, a third one. Yes. And by the time the boy was talking, mm -hmm. she had already left that one and had been married to another one. So the boy internalized the mother as a, as a shameful person to relate with. Mm -hmm. And I think the shame mm -hmm. was weighing him down. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he couldn't cope. He wanted to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. He had no capacity to differentiate himself mm -hmm. from the deeds of his mother. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. So, so a lot of these mental health issues are happening in the family. Mm -hmm. Actually, quite often, mm -hmm. the genesis of mental health issues mm -hmm. is the family. Okay. Mm. Yes, it's mm -hmm. the family. Mm -hmm. 
it's only accelerated once uh, often by external things mm -hmm. as people grow older. Mm -hmm. Let's say family can give you a predisposition mm -hmm. or it can trigger you to full blonde. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But once you leave family and you connect with the outside world, the yes. deposit of who you are from your family mm -hmm. makes you very vulnerable. Oh, yeah. ah. mm -hmm. makes you. I think Dr. Harry, at this point, I should ask, mm -hmm. there is a lot of uh, stigmatization when it comes to matters, mental health. Yes. Why is that the case? I think it's because people look at people who have me mental health issues as mm -hmm. weak, mm -hmm. as people who have failed, mm -hmm. as people who are not able to put their acts together. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of blame, mm -hmm. you know. And then the people who have mental health issues mm -hmm. also feel ashamed they should mm -hmm. be able to why are others coping and not me yes mm -hmm. and so they want to isolate and keep the, the issues they are struggling with a secret yeah mm -hmm. because they do not want to be broadcasted out there and be known mm -hmm. and therefore that makes it worse because they don't look for help yes yeah Maybe I should take you a little back and ask you the, the question that we should have started with. Mm. What is mental health? What is mental, yeah? Mental health. Yes, kindly define for us because mm. like David asked, he asked you a question about people having stigma. Why is it that people always think that mental health is when somebody, maybe I'm a Rukwa na, na Akili, help mm. us understand mm. when you're talking about mental health, mm. what is it and what are some of the things to look out for? Is anxiety, for example, a mental health a issue? mental health issue. Yes. Okay. Mental health is a very broad thing mm -hmm. because it affects different people mm -hmm. in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, people who are not well in their minds mm -hmm. or in their emotions yes. have different manifestation. And that's why mm -hmm. when you look at the spectrum of mental wholeness, yes. mm -hmm. you have all sorts of things. Okay. Anxiety, you know, you have schizophrenia, you mm -hmm. have depression, mm -hmm. you have you have personality disorders, you have a lot of arrays of description mm -hmm. that manifest in different ways. Yes. yes. And the differences between them is the characteristics of how they manifest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they are all issues or ways in which people are not functioning properly mm -hmm. because there's something wrong with the way they think Mm -hmm. to go back to where we started yes or the way they feel yeah. or the way they, they behave, behave. The way they but sometimes behave. it's mm -hmm. a combination of all those three mm -hmm. uh -huh. actually often mm -hmm. it is a combination of all those three yes one of the specialists said mm -hmm. that uh, thoughts trigger emotions mm -hmm. and emotions trigger behavior mm -hmm. yeah thoughts trigger emotions and emotions trigger behavior so in other words, if we want to to find out if we have mental issues, we need to take a look at what we are thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Quite often, mm -hmm. you can examine what you are thinking. Yes. But you can begin from any one of those. Mm -hmm. Look at what you are thinking. Is what you are thinking functional? Mm -hmm. But you see, if you are the one, mm. you probably have related with your thoughts for a, a wide length of time, mm -hmm. you are not able to distinguish that your thoughts are dysfunctional. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you need another person mm -hmm. to be able to listen to your thoughts mm -hmm. and tell be able you. to tell you, mm -hmm. why are you thinking like this? Where did you collect these thoughts from? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. And most of those things are usually lies. Eh? So if somebody <laughs> knows the truth, the word of God, they would be able to know, ah, this is not yes mm. but unfortunately mm -hmm. sometimes when you have learned to believe in a certain way mm. that way can filter mm -hmm. what you hear from the word of god wow yes hey. it can mm -hmm. adjust your way of hearing that word mm -hmm. so mm. that you fit it mm -hmm. into with, your thought in, pattern. into your patterns yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so really somebody has to often Mm -hmm. help you see no 
Mm-hmm. There's something wrong with the, the way, way you, you are organizing your thoughts. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's why scripture at some point said they have mm-hmm. made the word of no effect mm-hmm. through their traditions. You know, even your, mm-hmm. your thought system can be a tradition, like mm-hmm. yeah. a culture, a culture, a mm-hmm. custom. With your mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are right. Mm-hmm. You are right. Wow. Yes. And your socialization can be a basis mm-hmm. of mental health issues. Mm-hmm. Because you can be in a in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because that is what you are socialized to be, even when it is not working for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Think about a child who was always told, shut up. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when they grow up, they have a way of thinking about themselves mm-hmm. that tells them, I am not worthy mm-hmm. speaking before people. Yes. Oh. So often... They may have thoughts, mm-hmm. but they don't express them. When they go to places, even when things are done against them, they don't know how to stand up for themselves. Mm-hmm. And that's that triggers the, the flow mm-hmm. of how the environment will continue affecting them mm-hmm. because they are affected, yeah. but they don't know how to respond. Uh-huh. Wow. They are not assertive. Mm-hmm. They are not able to distinguish their thoughts Mm -hmm. and align themselves to this is what I need and Mm -hmm. therefore this is the boundary between me and other people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Wow. (laughs) So I think that's why the enemy really targets the family then. Because he knows if I target a family, the way of thinking Mm -hmm. in a particular family, Mm -hmm. then uh, it's very hard for someone to be of a different mind. Actually, mm-hmm. let me tell you, Shiko. Yes. There is a theorist mm-hmm. who came up with the understanding, and he did a lot of research. He's mm-hmm. called Dr. Neufeld. Yes. He said that right from the time a child is born, mm-hmm. if that child is not well attached to the parents, mm-hmm. that sense of belonging, mm-hmm. you know, we talk about levels of needs in human beings. Mm -hmm. The need to belong, the need to feel secure, the need to feel loved. Mm -hmm. Those things, if they are not met at home, Mm -hmm. they set a way of thinking and believing Mm -hmm. and feeling that makes the person not well. Mm -hmm. So this person Mm -hmm. actually worked with young people Mm -hmm. and discovered that the more they were not attached in their family, mm-hmm. the more they were dysfunctional in their teenage. Mm-hmm. And in fact, they formed the bulk of the people mm-hmm. who became the, 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 the people that you find in the street. They, they are lawless. Mm-hmm. When they go to school, they want to ban schools. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, because they have no sense of security, no sense of belonging, mm-hmm. no sense of authority. Mm-hmm. And feeling loved mm-hmm. at home yes. is a key protector mm-hmm. of mental health. Wow. Just feeling loved. a child growing up feeling loved yeah. mm-hmm. and feeling wanted. Yeah. Yes. It's a key protector mm-hmm. yeah, of that particular child. Be- before we get to the family, because I have a lot of questions, even before we get to the family <laughs> itself. <laughs> yes. Th- there are many that mm-hmm. have this uh preconceived notion Mm -hmm. before now people got really exposed to matters mental health yes that always thought it was a spiritual issue Mm -hmm. is it a spiritual issue a mental issue or both oh from where i stand yes i am a very unique psychologist Mm -hmm. i think it's both Mm -hmm. and i'll tell you why i think it's both yes when you have bad thoughts Mm -hmm. poor thoughts yeah Mm -hmm. They are always contrary to scripture. Yes. Mm-hmm. You, you see where I'm beginning. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. So when you begin to think that God does not love me mm-hmm. because probably he has not privileged me for, about this or the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or when you begin to think that uh, because I don't have uh, this or the other, I am not valuable. Oh. And the word of God says that God created no junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's my way of paraphrasing it. Yes. Yes. 
that is contrary to scripture. Mm -hmm. And there are many variations of way of thinking that are contrary to scripture. Now, look at it this way. Yes. We said that thinking triggers emotion. emotion. Yes. So you begin to feel a certain mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. But when you begin to feel a certain way, it triggers the way you behave. Yes. So you begin to behave unscripturally. Oh. Yeah. You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. So people who are not bound in their way of living with the scriptural lifestyle or scriptural thoughts, mm -hmm. they are likely to walk patterns of life mm -hmm. that are ungodly. Yeah. Wow. Somebody begins to comes out feeling unwanted and loved, mm -hmm. they get into sexual promiscuity. Yes. Because looking probably they mm -hmm. are looking for love. Mm -hmm. That's already a problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody goes into alcoholism. They are looking for something to numb the, the feeling thing. of isolation mm -hmm. and being desperate that mm -hmm. is within them. That's already a way of dealing with yourself that is contrary to scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, allow me to say this, mm -hmm. which is something that this is my pet subject. Yes. That when you begin to live contrary to scripture, mm -hmm. you are already outside God's god's will mm -hmm. and therefore you are open to that attack that to demonic attack, yeah. to demonic infiltration mm -hmm. yes. and oppression oh. so it is both mm. there is a way of thinking that is contrary mm -hmm. and therefore you are open you know you yes. are open to that yes to yes. that uh, attack. attack attack of the so enemy the, the, the thought pattern actually opens the door for the spiritual aspect now to come in. Mm -hmm. You get now the demonic infiltration. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's both. Mm -hmm. it's, it's both. both yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is it therefore the reason why scripture tells us that be ye transformed? Do not when think. Actually, the message, <laughs> the message version of that scripture is very, it says, do not do what your culture says without thinking, mm. but you be transformed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, because the biblical way of doing things mm -hmm. is a culture by itself. Wow. Yes. It is the mm -hmm. culture of God, the, the culture that the God kingdom. has given us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love, integrity, holiness. Mm -hmm. That's God's culture. Mm. Wow. It's a way of living mm -hmm. that allows you to be within the protection mm -hmm. that God avails for us. Yes. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> we should we should quote that. It allows you living that that allows you to live within the the protection, protection. of God. Wow. wow, powerful. So if you open up yourself to anything else, mm -hmm. I don't want to say God is helpless, but mm -hmm. God does not force us, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's why the injunction mm -hmm. to be transformed. Mm -hmm. God does not say. I am I want to transform you. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether you have ever noticed that. Yes. Mm -hmm. God actually calls you to be transformed, mm -hmm. to allow yourself to soak that word mm -hmm. that will change your thoughts, mm -hmm. change the way you see things, mm -hmm. the way you you feel, therefore, mm -hmm. and therefore the way, the way you, you behave. Act. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Wow. Actively participate in being transformed. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Spirit of God will help you in mm -hmm. the process. Yes. But you must step in. You ah. must ask him. Yes. There could be someone out there who is saying, I, I may not even know a lot of scripture, but if they cry to God and say, Lord, I'm willing, mm. I think he's able mm. to guide mm. us to the right. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I've loved what uh, Dr. Aria said about the family, mm -hmm. the family unit, since today we are talking about mental health in the families. Yes. That, Shiko, you pointed out that if a kid grows up knowing that they are loved, for example, mm -hmm. even their their impact later on in life in society mm -hmm. will be very much evident from yes. the one that grew up feeling rejected. Yes. That's why the devil is after the family unit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because yes. Akianza Nawe as a kid mm -hmm. to attack your mindset, mm -hmm. then he knows he has no much work to do later on. Yes. 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 Let me give you a testimony that was given in one of our BS. I don't know whether my BS 
partners uh, mm-hmm. would be listening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But this young man tells us that he grew up in a family mm-hmm. where the father always read him scripture, mm-hmm. talked to him, connected scripture with corrections. Mm-hmm. So instead of just being caned, he said the father really caned him. Mm-hmm. But the father would say, now you see, what you have done is not right because mm-hmm. the Bible says. Wow. And they would sit down and talk. And even when there is nothing wrong, mm. the boy would have outings with the father and they would go to places. Mm. And then when they are in those places, they would go over the book of Proverbs, mm-hmm. the book of, you know, they would go over scriptures. Yeah. Yes. So the boy knew a lot of wisdom mm-hmm. from scripture and from other, and also had a very tight connection with the father yes. because of the way the father availed himself for him. Mm-hmm. Yes. So he goes to campus mm-hmm. for the first time. Yes. And he finds himself in a gang of young people, mm-hmm. classmates. Yes. After class, they all go to a certain room and mm-hmm. they are asking, can we find out where you stay? Mm-hmm. So when they found themselves there, mm-hmm. one of them pulls out Bangi mm-hmm. and starts smoking. Mm-hmm. And he says, he started shaking from head. Everybody else is comfortable, but mm-hmm. he is shaking. Mm -hmm. and he feels very uncomfortable and he's thinking if my father found me here what would he think Mm -hmm. and then all those scriptures that (laughs) that came from Proverbs Mm -hmm. begin to roll in his mind Mm -hmm. and he said that is what protected him Wow! from rolling with a group Mm -hmm. he was able to disconnect himself Mm -hmm. and choose a path that the father would be proud of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why the father? Because he had a connection with his father. Mm. He had so a relationship. He had, mm. he had the feeling that he would want to please to him. Please him. Mm-hmm. And this Newfeld man I talked about said, mm. attachment is the long hand of a parent mm-hmm. that parents a child mm-hmm. when the parent is not there. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Because the the child child feels so loyal to the parent, mm-hmm. he would not want to do anything. Mm-hmm. And therefore, mm-hmm. he remains within the boundaries. Yes. Can I ask, I think the reason why we call God Father, help me understand, if we have a good relationship with God, with our fathers, mm-hmm. earthly fathers, is it then easy for us to connect with God and have the same attachment mm-hmm. that we do, we do <laughs> not want to displease him. We don't want to do anything that would hurt him. Talk of the case of Joseph. He said, it's amazing in a foreign land. Mm. He talked about, I I don't want to, to do this. It would be a great sin against God. Mm. Is it then easy when you have a good relationship with the father? Yeah, because mm. our brains is like a cupboard with many folders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. And it stores information in those folders Mm -hmm. that gives us things that we can connect with Mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. So every experience that we get, Mm -hmm. we file it in relevant cabinets. I don't know whether if you had folders Mm -hmm. (coughs) and one of the cabinet is certificates. Yes. yes. If you get a new certificate, you'd put it you'd put it there. It may be different from the other certificates that are there, Mm -hmm. but you'd put it there. Yes. Yes. So in the same way, our brain is able to collect information Mm -hmm. and interpret them according to information that has already been put there before. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you file that information Mm -hmm. in those cabinets Mm -hmm. and they help you Mm -hmm. to interpret that experience and give it meaning. Mm -hmm. And the meaning you give it Mm -hmm. is what now continues to influence how you relate with that information. So if the word father is pleasurable, Mm -hmm. then God calls himself father. Father. When he calls himself father. Pleasure in that. (laughs) I have been in meetings. Mm -hmm. I I run a class in in park called spiritual formation. Yes. Yes. And when we go for retreat and we, engage quite a bit on the fatherhood of God Mm -hmm. and the love he has for us. Mm -hmm. And people say for the first time, people who have been Christians for a while, not people who are getting born born again. again. (laughs) And they begin to say, I I realize realize what a different father I have have in In God. God. Because I have 
always mm -hmm. never fathomed what it means to have God as a father. Wow. One time, as we discussed, mm -hmm. some students began to weep in the in their place. Ooh. were saying, I, I have never known this love. Mm. Imagine God loves me. You know, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's the word you imagine God loves me. Yes. And this is somebody who has been brought up in church. We will pause there because of time. I tell yes. you, this is so beautiful. And do not go anywhere if you're listening in, in mm -hmm. case you're just joining us. This is Dr. Elizabeth Kamau. She is the HOD counseling and I think actually psychology in um, Park. Park University. Yeah. And she's passionate in matters uh, concerning mental health. And today she's just mm -hmm. helping us understand why it's important for us to be mentally healthy mm -hmm. in our families. When you come back, we're going to delve deeper. I think that conversation about the fatherhood of God, we're yeah, going we to delve to, deeper. We need to, yes. we need to look at that a little bit more. <laughs> yes. It's time now to get an update on what is happening in the world with mm -hmm. George Gishuru. And then we'll be back with this conversation. Stay tuned. This is Praise Junction on Hope FM where you listen and, and live. Hope FM. It's now. 12 p.m. Listen and live. A revival is breaking out. The voice of hope in the air. News on the go with George Ishuru. Good afternoon. President William Ruto has defended his government's fiscal measures, saying foreign borrowing almost drove the country to the brink of debt distress. Speaking at State House Nairobi, during the signing of performance contracts by cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries, President Ruto said it became their first assignment upon assuming office to steady the economy and pull back the country from going over the cliff. <laughs> As pharmacist and dentist union has however assured all medical service interns they will be receiving their allowances in arrears before the end of this month. In a brief statement, KMPDU stated they engaged with the health ministry which assured them that the payment process is already underway. Safaricom has been awarded for its climate action initiatives in the inaugural Environment Sustainability Awards by KEPSA in collaboration with UNEP. Safaricom was recognized for its innovative approaches in integrating and implementing climate change interventions in its business strategies and its investments in digital and green solutions that contribute positively to planetary people and profits. Safaricom signed a deal with the Kenya Forest Services to plant 5 million trees by the year 20. 2025 in a move that will now create 2,000 direct jobs and 5,000 jobs indirectly. Other climate action initiatives included the recycling of 913 tons of e-waste as well as the successful recycling of 88% of the company's solid waste in financial year 2022. The telco also reduced carbon dioxide emissions by solarizing up to 1,400 of its network sites as it looks to become a net zero emitting organization by the year 2050. Three rifles and eight rounds of ammunition have been surrendered in an ongoing mop-up exercise in Narrow County. County Commissioner Isaac Masinde welcomed the move, urging those still in possession of illegal firearms to follow suit. Speaking during a meeting with Maasai elders, he observed that illegal firearms have been used to carry out crime. According to County Commissioner, the weapons can be surrendered. <laughs> Thank you. 
Evelyn Wanjiru right there with Celebrate. I'm Okipenda Shangilia. Mm -hmm. This is Praise Junction on Hope FM. You listen and live 93.3 Nairobi and 3.9 Nakuru, 101.9 Mombasa. And if you're streaming live from any other part of the world, it's www.hopemediakenya.org. I'm your guy in the building, Kamakawa David King. And my name is Shiko Asante Sana for keeping you right here. We are learning matters to do with the mental health. And mm -hmm. with us in studio is Dr. Elizabeth Kamau. She was just telling us 
us about the fatherhood of God and why that is very important. Yes. Yes. Possibly I could start by asking this question. Is it, does that then inform us on why the enemy is so focused on attacking the man? Yeah, I think the man has a lot of responsibility yes. in keeping the family in shape mm -hmm. because he provides part of the image, mm -hmm. the image of the fatherhood of God. Yes. So destroy the man mm -hmm. and you destroy the image mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. God is supposed to have. But that is also mm -hmm. not, that's not the only thing. Mm -hmm. You know, scripture places the responsibility of mm -hmm. nature. To women. To man. Oh, to the, man. The responsibility of nurturing a godly family yes. to man. Mm -hmm. He is the one who is responsible wow. of taking the priesthood position mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to enable his family yes. to know God. Mm -hmm. So if he is not attuned, mm -hmm. then it means the children and the wife mm -hmm. are going to be fabbling around in darkness. Okay. Yes. Even though sometimes some women fill in the gaps yes, yes. to support their husbands. Mm -hmm. But really it is more reasonable. Actually, mm -hmm. it is more, ex it's expected. Yes. I think that's the word. Mm -hmm. By the father, God, mm -hmm. for him to take his role. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Remember, we are live, good people on Facebook on Twitter and on YouTube at Hope FM Live. Mm -hmm. You can also send in your questions on WhatsApp 0717-400-555, which mm -hmm. is also our call line, and on SMS 20933, yes. and at Hope FM Live on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Ari, we get to the matters of the family. Yes. Because we've seen a lot happening, let's say, after COVID. Mm -hmm. Because before COVID, it was still happening. You thought you were okay. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't really prevalent. Or yes. rather, it hadn't come out mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. But we've seen very, I don't know, I don't want to say demonic, mm -hmm. because we've already established it's both spiritual and mental. Mm -hmm. But we've seen a lot of things that can vex your soul. Happening brutal in the murder. family. Brutal murders. Mm -hmm. what, what, what actually is the, the root cause? Is it mental health issues? Is it demonic infiltration, like we mentioned? Mm -hmm. And if it if it is mental health issues in the family, mm -hmm. what now triggers or births mental health issues in family? Yes, in that family <laughs> setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two weeks ago I was speaking in a place, mm -hmm. and I made reference to the book of Job. Yes, mm -hmm. Job came under the most intense pressure. Yes, any man can come under. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the Bible makes a very interesting statement about Job. Yes. The Bible says Job did not sin by what he said. Oh, mm. in all these. In all the things that he encountered. Yeah. Mm. We talked about mental unwellness mm -hmm. being located within ourselves. Oh. Mm. And sometimes it is manageable. Mm -hmm. because life is normal. Mm -hmm. But when triggers become heavy on us, mm -hmm. you know, because there's pressure mm -hmm. from the society, there's yes. pressure from ourselves because things are not happening the way we want, mm -hmm. yes. then we find ourselves in the same boat as Job. Mm -hmm. The challenge is we may not have the same resilience mm -hmm. that Job had. Mm -hmm. yes. And that is a factor mm -hmm. of who we are inside. inside. You see? Yes. Mm -hmm. When somebody said, when you press an orange, mm -hmm. orange juice come out. Yes. Mm -hmm. When you press a lemon, mm -hmm. <laughs> lemon juice, Lemonade. Come, <laughs> lemon juice <laughs> yes. come out. Mm -hmm. You cannot get lemon out of oranges. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or pineapple juice mm -hmm. out of lemons. Yes. So it is what is inside that comes out Ooh. when we are pressed. Mm. So situational issues mm -hmm. have the effect of bringing to life or mm -hmm. bringing to matur maturity. Yes. Some to, of our mm -hmm. poor disposition. Oh. 
so that they now manifest in full blossom mm-hmm. because the stress levels are high yes and we don't have the 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 guts to support ourselves with mm-hmm. so we blow up mm-hmm. that's where the problem is yeah so someone doesn't have the the will power within themselves to deal with certain things mm-hmm. i've had there's also another time we had a, a discussion here and people were saying mm. someone does people do bad things because they they have been what was the word they have been forced, forced by yeah. possibly mtu ame mistreat so you retaliate mm. uh, someone has hit you so you retaliate but i hear something very different you're telling us that the retaliation yeah, is not, not because, because of somebody it's a product of who you are inside, <laughs> inside. let me mm-hmm. ask you mm-hmm. This this man called Joseph. Yes. Why didn't he act out? Yes, yes. and he had gone through so much. Brothers showed up. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm-hmm. and he had actually he, he, he was had the justified. Power. Yes, he was justified. To, yeah. When he was lured by Potiphar's wife, mm-hmm. why didn't he say a, a golden opportunity <laughs> has come. for mm-hmm. second? country yes yeah. <laughs> it was a factor of what is inside oh wow what is inside you mm-hmm. will come out and that's why we go back to the same scripture that we started with yes the bible encouraging us mm-hmm. to be transformed yeah. yes because when the inside is changed mm-hmm. then the behavior will be changed yes, yes. And when the behavior is changed, the circumstance will not have the same impact mm-hmm. on us, even when it is, even when the circumstances are very dire. Yes, yeah. we will have opportunity to be the people who are acting differently mm-hmm. because the inside is different. Yes, yeah. So when is the right time, Daktari? I hear you say that our we need to take our inside before God. And I know several scriptures say that the heart is desperately wicked. Mm. So many of us, we don't want to wait until that time when something manifests and you say, hey, yeah, that's not me. So at what time is it, uh, what time would you suggest someone to look, at the, the look at the past? <laughs> when they come of age when they are children ah, yeah we were having yeah. that discussion off air yes for example now for the for the sake of the family yes. before i get a family mm-hmm. when is the right time to handle my issues mm-hmm. actually you should handle your issues yesterday mm-hmm. because every day you live with them mm-hmm. <laughs> yes they are getting on uh, on your way yes yeah. do you know mm-hmm. who you are who even determine mm-hmm. what kind of partner sometimes you get oh if you are a person who is very insecure inside mm-hmm. you will probably get anybody who comes mm-hmm. without having to do a lot of evaluation mm-hmm. i remember a young man telling me i was I didn't choose this woman. Oh. But because I had a car and I had a whatever, mm-hmm. I had no guts to talk to any woman. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, so when this one came ones, this way. So when they came there were three that showed up. And when they they and then they showed up because I showed like I was having some prospects. Mm-hmm. I had a car, I had a job. I was doing well in church. So they came. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, because the inside is still raw yes they connect with this person they have no time to uh, uh, to check who is this yes because they don't even have the emotional intelligence mm-hmm. to check mm-hmm. who am i connecting with yes so eventually when you get into the house mm-hmm. you are two people who are like a cat and a mouse because mm-hmm you attack each other from your own vulnerabilities mm. your wounds mm-hmm. your pains yes because you're seeking somebody to to put bandage in your pain yes. but they are busy also looking for someone <laughs> but they are also looking for somebody to put bandages <laughs> on their in, pain on their own pain mm-hmm. yeah. and so you are busy tearing each other mm-hmm. because you are dissatisfied with what you are getting 
Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Let, let, let's get to family, much more deeper into family. Mm-hmm. Because I think the, the very foundation of our mental health yes. is a whole subject that can take a week. Mm-hmm. The foundation by itself. Yes. Right? Getting mm-hmm. to understand how your mindset affects your whole life, basically, mm-hmm. even your understanding of God. Now, when I'm I'm in that marriage setup, the family setup, mm-hmm. how can I now get to know that maybe my spouse or my children mm-hmm. or, you know, my wife or my husband mm-hmm. has a mental health issue? Before now, I start castigating them or praying for them. Mm-hmm. How can I know? What are the telltale signs of knowing that, hey, upper there is an issue? Mm-hmm. Or even before we get there, how do we tell how do I tell Mm -hmm. I as an individual, I have an issue that I need to deal with before I get married? First of all, Mm -hmm. it may not be easy for you to diagnose yourself that you have an issue Mm -hmm. because we live with ourselves Mm -hmm. until we get to a place where we are comfortable and we are able to explain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might hear somebody say, this is just who I am. Yeah. We are like that in our family. <laughs> <laughs> our family is like this. Yes. Yeah, we and get, we mm-hmm. and we get to explain it and we get to a place where we are comfortable. Mm-hmm. The issue here is are you aware mm-hmm. of your background? Can you connect with it? Mm-hmm. Do you know the traumas that you have had to absorb? Oh. And uh, are you conscious about how that trauma mm-hmm. interacted with your feelings, mm-hmm. with your thoughts, mm-hmm. even if you swallowed it yes. and you buried it, mm-hmm. nothing is buried dead. Mm. <laughs> yes. It has a way of resurrecting. Mm-hmm. Because remember we talked about folders in the brain. Yes. yes. So it will be a folder that you are not using. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when it connects with an experience outside there, mm-hmm. yes. the folder comes alive. Mm-hmm. It begins to be the very thing mm-hmm. that interprets that experience. Okay. So you get married, mm-hmm. you had a very traumatic experience with your father, mm-hmm. and your husband does something, mm-hmm. and you think, Oh, it connects. Is, mm. is, is, is that my the father folder. coming? Yes. Yeah, the folder comes alive. <laughs> yes. And you begin to respond mm-hmm. to him. And remember, your husband is not your father. Yes. There's a measure of, of re- restriction mm-hmm. in your response to your father. Yes. But when you start responding to, to your, your husband, husband yeah. you can respond with a lot of energy. Yes. <laughs> because yeah. he's your mate. Yeah. Yes. And there is a certain understanding of Yeah, he needs to also respect my space. Mm -hmm. Now, when you respond like that, sometimes you hit right into his own trauma Trauma. Mm -hmm. and his own folders that are not yet deleted. Yes. So you can see the mess. And Mm -hmm. he also responds now. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Actually, I don't know whether you have ever sat with, with the people and they are talking about their problems. And you probably are asking, so where did this begin? Because it is a cyclone. Mm. It began with a little, they they are trying to say this is the problem, but really they can't even interpret it accurately mm-hmm. because it is, I did something, mm-hmm. I interp- uh, and he interpreted it internally oh. and responded. They didn't tell me how they interpreted it, mm-hmm. yes. but they responded. Mm-hmm. Then I interpreted their response and I responded. Mm-hmm. So, so both by, are speaking different languages. So by the time you are looking for people to talk into your life, mm-hmm. imagine you have been responding and building up an experience and a case. Yeah. It is terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what are the telltales? Yes. Is like anger one of them? Well, first of all, mm-hmm. if you are dealing with a person who has been okay, mm-hmm. you have lived with this person. Yes. Maybe they have not been showing anything that is abnormal. Mm-hmm. And I've used the word. Mm-hmm. And you have... Enjoy be- and then suddenly there is a change. Oh, mm-hmm. maybe they have interacted with some work mm-hmm. places, issues, and they now in the family mm-hmm. they, they are or they are threatened by situations around them. 
Mm-hmm. And suddenly they begin to show some change. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the change could be in their eating pattern mm-hmm. or their sleeping, sleeping. Mm-hmm. or their connection. They mm-hmm. could just suddenly become very quiet, mm-hmm. what we would call isolating. Mm-hmm. You know, mild things that you can easily ignore. And when you ask, it said, I'm tired. But you see, you cannot be tired 24-7. Yes. So they are beginning to isolate. Mm-hmm. Then you probably need to be concerned. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or they become very irritable. Those, those A small thing. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they spark off. Mm-hmm. But on the extreme, mm-hmm. then there could be malfunctioning in their brain. They begin to to explain that they have confusion. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody can tell you, you know, I am, somebody is telling me something. I hear somebody telling me something. And when you turn around, there's nobody talking to them. Oh. Or they are seeing things. Mm -hmm. They are seeing people that you can't see. Mm -hmm. Then that is very dramatic. There is a problem. Mm -hmm. Or people suddenly lose zest for life. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go to work. They don't want to bathe, Mm -hmm. they don't want to eat, they're just there. Mm -hmm. They wake up in the morning, to begin with, they just drag them to work. Then increasingly, they don't want to go. Mm -hmm. They have excuse this day and the other day, and their bosses begin to complain that they are falling behind their work. Mm. You also find that they don't take the regular responsibilities if it is a child, maybe they begin to drink. All those things could be indicators yes. that somebody is needing help. Mm-hmm. And probably you want to come around them. Wow. We are, wow. We are, we are on Praise Junction and this is Hope FM. We listen and live. Mm-hmm. We've started off our mental health series, which mm-hmm. we believe by the grace of God will happen for a couple of weeks on Tuesdays. Yes. From around 11.30 a.m. all the way to 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. You can send in your questions to 0717400555. Mm-hmm. That's on WhatsApp. 20933 is our SMS line and at Hope FM Live on all social media platforms. Mm-hmm. I think I can mention a few and then we, we take a break. Yes, yes. And then yes. we come back and answer the questions which are very, very, very many. Mm-hmm. Uh, before I get to the questions, um, Daniel Mwangi and Asema joined halfway and I'm appreciating the discussion. Mm-hmm. Victor Mutai from Kiambu Kilimambogo. Thanks to Dr. Elizabeth to Melimika Sana. Mm-hmm. I have learned how to manage mental health through your teachings. Mm-hmm. Uh, Irene Wamboy, I can see you. Victoria, I can see you. Stella and Asema learning so much. Where can I get the recording? and mm-hmm. listen after. Right here on Facebook. We are live on Facebook, on yes. Twitter, mm-hmm. and on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Aha. Julia Abraham says, God bless you, Dr. Elizabeth. Your God-given wisdom plus experience comes out so well. Mm-hmm. I could listen to you all day. How can one reach you? I will do that, actually. We will ask we'll her that you. towards yeah. the end. Mm-hmm. I've been looking for a Christian mentor in the psychology field. Mm-hmm. I believe you found one here in Jesus' name. Amen. And then, <laughs> Moja Nasema, tuned from Nyayo Estate. This is Miriam. Mm-hmm. If we don't deal with our traumas, it affects our relationship relationships awareness mm-hmm. is key then unlearn and relearn new behavior and the last one is self-diagnosing is not easy thanks mm-hmm. dr elizabeth this is half, yes. half sunday again. ah beautiful yes mm-hmm. so i think when you come back you're going to be handling some of those questions yes but maybe one last one because you've said that self-diagnosis is not um it, it, it cannot work mm-hmm. where can people go yeah thankfully mm-hmm. Today in Kenya, yes, we have many trained counselors. Mm-hmm. Our institutions are yes. turning qualified. Mm-hmm. Actually, let me say that I have many mm-hmm. qualified students that I have trained. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. From Park University, yes, mm-hmm. uh, they have uh, an ability to integrate. Yes, Christian faith mm-hmm. with counseling, mm-hmm. and that is a plus yes. because. Uh, that's how we train them. Mm-hmm. Yes. They are able to apply psychology and mm-hmm. Christian uh, understanding. Mm-hmm. And uh, they also evaluate and seek awareness of where they are spiritually mm-hmm. and psychologically, apart from going for the mandatory counseling sessions mm-hmm. for self. Yes. They also engage 
in a lot of reflective work yes. as Christians mm -hmm. to understand where they what kind of journey have they walked mm -hmm. yes. and how do they grow to become who they need to become mm -hmm. so that they are properly prepared yes to meet other people's needs wow, wow. so we have many christian i last last time i graduated mm -hmm. uh 40 40 something mm -hmm. counselors wow and i had four masters mm -hmm. and i had eight phd students wow. who wow. can handle any issue mm -hmm. on mental health wow. amen, so amen, I, amen. I am feeling very energized because mm -hmm. i know that i am populating the the country yes with the people who can help that's true people yeah. who are equipped to help that's people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so right this moment you go for a short break when we come back you're going to be handling these questions that you're sending so kindly send in your messages on 20933 and of course our whatsapp line is 0717 and I know when we come back, uh, Dr. Elizabeth is going to help us understand some of these uh, things that have been troubling us in our family. Mm. <laughs> yes, indeed. Amen. <laughs> FM, another quality service from Christ. Thank you. 
is a desire of God that praises would rise from our families, from our homes, that his name would be lifted. The Bible says that he desires to have a godly offspring, and this can only come from godly families. Asante Sana for staying tuned to the station where you listen and live. This is Praise Junction. My name is Shiko. You guy in the building this amazing Tuesday with that wonderful, wonderful conversation, David King. Mm -hmm. And we are in the house with the doctor, Dr. Elizabeth Kamau. She's the HOD mm -hmm. uh, psychology mm -hmm. at Park University. Mm -hmm. We are getting a lot of insights and wisdom. And uh, I'm, I'm loving it, by the way. I'm loving. Before we get to the questions, I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important for us to understand what are some of the things that contribute to mental health issues. Uh, I know you're going to explain and help us understand so that if somebody is doing some of those things, they will know how to seek help. And also, do, do these mental issues like stress, like anxiety, can they run through a generation? Hmm. Yeah, so I've asked you two questions in one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. I, I first of all, go back to the question we addressed. Is mm -hmm. mental health spiritual yes. or psychological? Mm -hmm. And we started by saying it's both. Yes, yes. And one of the things that I have come to underscore mm -hmm. is that one of the underlying problems mm -hmm. that we have on earth Mm -hmm. or in the world yes. is the fact that we live in a fallen world mm -hmm. and the problems that we have mm -hmm. are a system yes. mm -hmm. that is orchestrated by the fallen world. Mm -hmm. yes. And so a lot of embedded problems mm -hmm. in our families mm. position us mm -hmm. or they set us up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be mentally unstable yeah. and only God's grace mm -hmm. redeems us from those pits. Yes. So you said, what are some of the things that can predispose us mm -hmm. from our families yes. to have mental health? Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Yes. For example, mm -hmm. if you grow up in a home where you are neglected, mm -hmm. that is already a problem mm -hmm. yes because we started by saying children need to be loved mm -hmm. to be protected mm -hmm. 
and to be and to be provided for. Yes. So if you have a father, for example, who is alcoholic, mm -hmm. gets all his money and drinks it, mm -hmm. and you're struggling, you don't have enough money for school fees, mm -hmm. you go to school, you don't have what other children have because you are barely scraping mm -hmm. through. Yes. Shame and uh, humiliation become part of your system. Mm -hmm. And that in itself is terrible. Yes. yes. Talk about sexual abuse mm -hmm. of young people, I think yes. children. At mm -hmm. that point, mm -hmm. let me read one here mm -hmm. so that you can address that together with this. Mm -hmm. And this has actually touched my heart. Mm -hmm. Anasema, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. I have just tuned in. I had muted after activate. Probably they were doing something. Mm -hmm. This is my story. I was sexually abused when I was in class two and class three. The day I had planned to tell my mom, a friend of hers came and accused a girl who was slightly older than I. Mm -hmm. I shut my mouth. My mom died without knowing this. My middle sister was also abused. Mm -hmm. My little sister, who was the praying one, without no, her story would be was, different. Who was the one we prayed her story would be different. I think these are... Or they were praying mm -hmm. the story would be different, different for the for little her. sister. Yes. Yeah, got sexually abused by my own dad. Mm -hmm. I could not handle this. I have battled depression for two years and one month. Mm -hmm. I am alive today because of God's mercy. Mm -hmm. Time won't tell it all. Whatever you're saying is true and real. Yeah, so abuse. Mm -hmm. Sexual abuse, emotional abuse. Mm -hmm. What is emotional abuse, for Emotional example? abuse is when someone keeps on tagging on your emotions in a negative way. Mm -hmm. For example, keeps on criticizing you mm -hmm. unfairly. Oh. Like you grow up in a family where your mom or your dad mm -hmm. keeps pushing you down, pulling mm -hmm. you down, mm -hmm. telling you you are stupid, you'll never amount to anything. Mm -hmm. Or you ask for something and they, slay, they, they put negative comments to it. Mm -hmm. And you keep experiencing that feeling that yes. you are not wanted in this family. Mm -hmm. And anytime you raise your voice, mm -hmm. you are going to get an onslaught mm -hmm. that is diff different. Physical abuse is when you are given unfair corporal punishment. Oh. You are hit, mm -hmm. you are beaten, mm -hmm. you are, for example, tied to poles mm -hmm. and locked in homes mm -hmm. where you, a child can be very terrified. Mm -hmm. Even sometimes the way we threaten children, mm. you know, I'm going to lock you outside and the dog will come and eat you. Yeah. Hey. And the child is so frightened. All those things. <laughs> oh, so they, they are, are very traumatic. Mm -hmm. yeah. They they live long in the in the mind of that person. Mm -hmm. But I think the worst is sexual abuse. abuse. Mm -hmm. Now I want to say to that person mm -hmm. that the trauma is so bad mm -hmm. you need help mm -hmm. uh, but on in a nutshell mm -hmm. all abuse mm -hmm. keep, allows us to develop hate for the people who did it yes mm -hmm. we we live with a lot of grudge mm -hmm. and forgiveness pain and you know an array of things that allow yes. mm -hmm. the enemy to make our lives his place of stay. Mm -hmm. And that's why we continue to have a lot of oppression. Mm -hmm. These things were done against us. Yes. Yet, mm -hmm. we suffer mm -hmm. as a result of it. Mm. So, that negative way of life mm -hmm. and the way we experience ourselves because we were abused mm -hmm. becomes the, the reason why we cannot separate ourselves mm -hmm from being oppressed. Mm. Oh. So I have found people gaining relief when, mm -hmm. first of all, they turn to God mm -hmm. and they say, Lord, mm -hmm. I know that people are very inhuman to do this to me. Yes. But I know your word tells me mm -hmm. that if I don't forgive from the heart, yes, I will live under torment. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I will be tormented by my unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. So, I choose, and I usually, when I'm dealing with clients, we talk about making a deliberate choice. Mm -hmm. I choose to forgive yes. this person. With I don't have I don't have the feelings to do it. Yes, but I make a choice mm -hmm. to forgive the person. Yes, you know. Yeah. I also 
repent mm -hmm. for all the years i have carried the pain the anger the vengeance the the hatred mm -hmm. all those things yes i want you to forgive me mm -hmm. and to release me from it another release. question here and, and before we go to another question yes. something that is very important yes the bible does tell us that every sexual contact mm. creates a soul, soul tie. tie yeah so you want to ask God mm -hmm. to do a disconnecting work mm -hmm. between you and this other person, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. after you have forgiven, yes. repented, yes. Mm -hmm. you want to invite God mm -hmm. to do the disconnecting mm -hmm. and then begin to do the healing. Mm -hmm. Because it's only God who can heal that kind of wound. Yes. 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 But imagine he does. Mm -hmm. I have seen people healed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have witnessed it. Yes, people who come out of that place mm -hmm. and they are able now to carry on with normal life. So healing is not possible if we do not first forgive and repent. Yes, wow. Because wow. then, mm -hmm. remember we talked about the spirituality mm -hmm. of yes. Yes. mental health. Yes, yes. When you repent and forgive, mm -hmm. you are denying. Mm -hmm. the ego ground mm. oh. for the devil to continue operating mm. yes. in your life. Yes. And you are ushering that yes. wall. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about a wall yes. that God can usher us into Yes, that would now secure us mm. and allow us to begin to experience his protection. Yes. Yeah. Another question here. Anasema, good morning. My son is a 24 year old old who was diagnosed with a depressive disorder last year. Mm -hmm. Of late, he has been eating a lot till he vomits. How do mm -hmm. I help him? Then he, he or she connected it with this. He has been on medication, but he has refused to go for a review. Mm -hmm. How do I help him? Mm. You know, depression is something that we are battling with as a nation. It's, mm -hmm. it's affecting so many of our young people. Yes. And it is because they have hidden things that they are like that young boy who's that man, I don't I sorry, I call him a young boy. Yeah. That man who says, I wanted to tell my mother, mm -hmm. but I didn't. The young lady. The lady. Yeah. It mm -hmm. was a young lady. Yes. I didn't. Mm -hmm. And probably I don't know whether she has told anybody mm -hmm. or she's airing it for the no, first time. Yeah. yeah. You see. Many things we keep to ourselves. So we continue to irrigate them. Mm -hmm. You know, they continue to be in our preoccupation, our thoughts. Mm -hmm. And the more you think about them, the more you build the thoughts around them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so with the time, it's such a big thing. And so we begin to symptomize. Mm -hmm. We, we develop different kind of symptoms as a result of that. Oh. And that's how we begin to get depression, we get schizophrenia, we get all those things. Because I they were not dealt with. They have not been dealt with. Oh. I remember I was dealing with this young girl mm -hmm. who had been sexually abused mm -hmm. by a cousin, mm -hmm. or no, an uncle mm -hmm. who lived with them. Yes. And the uncle would threaten her mm -hmm. that if you ever say this mm -hmm. i'm going to strangle you and throw you in the river oh and uh, the girl shut up mm -hmm. and she was only nine and she continued growing first of all she hated her parents mm -hmm. for housing this monster mm -hmm. why would you bring a monster to torment me mm -hmm. number two she felt horrified mm -hmm. by what happened to her yeah. And I, I, I don't think it happened once. Mm -hmm. So she began to faint in school. Oh. And the parents would be called. They would take her to hospital. And this happened from the time she was nine to the time she was 18. Eh. Every time the, pa the mother is running to pick her from school, take her to hospital, MRI, X-rays, tests, mm. Nothing. nothing. So one of the, so one one of those hospital visitation, yes, and I was invited to talk to her mm -hmm. by the psychiatrist in charge, 
and we began to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And I began to tell her, tell me about yourself. Tell me about how you grew up. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your relationships. Tell me about, you see, now you, I gathered the stories yeah. from very far. Yeah. Yeah. And in the process of that, she actually told me that story. And she told me she has never told anybody. Mm -hmm. And she told me from that moment, she felt so ugly she doesn't even look at herself in the mirror. And the girl was beautiful. Ooh. So in our next session, I carried my mirror. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and we we talked about the thoughts that she has about herself. Mm -hmm. We talked and we we named what happened to her. Mm -hmm. We call it a crime. Mm -hmm. So that she doesn't see as if it's like if somebody shot you by the hand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that make you ill or shamed or you know no. It, no. it's it's a crime against, it's a crime you. against yes. you so we named it mm -hmm. so that she can remove herself mm -hmm. from faulting her mm -hmm. self for what happened to her yes so and as we continued talking she mm -hmm. was able to look herself in the mirror for the first time mm -hmm. yes and i would tell her look at the way you are beautiful mm -hmm. you know and not she's not the only one that i have talked to yes. who has been through that mm -hmm. but the the key thing is can the person get the opportunity mm -hmm. to say what is it mm -hmm. that is activating the mm -hmm. depressive symptoms uh. mm -hmm. yeah I think, unfortunately, when you're having such good times, time runs. Yes. We only have four minutes left. <laughs> so I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Elizabeth if she can give us references, people who people can uh, call or, um, you know, uh, they, if they want to be ministered to. And then I'm also going to ask her, kindly pray for someone. There are people who don't even have the strength to even send that message, mm. but they are hearing what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, interestingly, mm -hmm. at Park University, we have a full-blown counseling center, mm -hmm. which you can call mm -hmm. and book to be seen. Yes. And we, you will find uh, Christian counselors, mm -hmm. and we have a person who is fully in charge. I'm mm -hmm. trying to look for that name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just find it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to look for the number mm -hmm. because uh, it is very, very, it, it's very important to yes. have uh, mm -hmm. that number. Mm -hmm. As you find it, mm. the person that was talking about sexual abuse has mm. reached out to say, I am not that young. I am 37 years old, married with two children. Mm -hmm. I said God's mercy because antidepressants could, couldn't help me. Mm. Only God came through. Only God. Amen. I, I, I agree with, with her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, antidepressant, <laughs> I was reading another book written by a very high level medical person. Yes. He's, yes. he's written a book titled Pills for the Soul? Mm -hmm. Question mark. Pills for the Soul? Question mark. And he he has indicated that, you know, when you take uh, uh, mental health drugs, mm -hmm. it's like taking painkillers when you have a sickness. It's only supposed to help you manage the pain, mm -hmm. but you I'm must not... seek the treatment for the problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. If you don't seek the the, the the treatment for the problem, mm -hmm. you will actually be in a lot of mess. Mm. Time is really gone. We only have two minutes. Possibly uh, what we can do mm. on uh, this live broadcast, we are going to send those contacts there yes. Uh, yes. later. But right now, if there's somebody who wants counseling these uh Sitam Valley Road offers that yeah yes you can get zero seven zero nine eight six one one fifty zero seven zero nine eight six one one fifty but I know many people have been ministered to by Dr. Elizabeth yes. so right now on that particular live video we're after this post. show yes. we're going to post so in less than one minute please pray <laughs> for someone mm. Mm. Uh, let's pray. Yes. Eternal Father, we thank you because you are so loving. Yes. 
you created us to be connected to you. Mm -hmm. You sent Jesus Christ to redeem us from our various form of fallenness and perversion and brokenness so that we can be reconnected to you. Mm -hmm. And there are times, Lord, we have come to you, but we have not experienced the fullness because we have not understood where we are. Yes. And I pray, Father God, for any person who has been listening to us, mm -hmm. that, Lord, would you give them insight mm -hmm. and awareness mm -hmm. and also connect them to sources of continuous engagement with themselves mm -hmm. so that they can experience full healing and the grace that comes from you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 It's wow. now one o'clock until tomorrow, same time yes. uh, from Devi and I. Why? We continue with the mental health uh, series on yes, Tuesday. On Tuesday, yes. Because we have a lot to handle. Yes, wow, we do. my goodness. Okay, it's now <laughs> time for the news with George Geshuru. He's there, ready, waiting. Thank Bye -bye. you so much, Dr. Elizabeth, <laughs> yes. for coming. Yeah, let me let me call <laughs> Pastor McKenna. Okay. So Mrs. McKenna mm. to get that number. All right. I, I, I would rather not give my personal number. So. Okay. The FM. It's now 1 p.m. Listen and live.